I can't say I've seen this matchup a lot. <laughs> no. I think this might actually be really tough for Diddy. That's because Yoshi can stay in the air. It has a super armor double jump. And the command grab for both of them is actually going to just... Who, who gets it first is going to play real dividends. I feel like oh Diddy goodness. still can win this matchup. Um, I don't know any, like, definites on uh, who wins this matchup. But I feel like Diddy definitely has a strong advantage because he has a lot of free bread and butter combos. Mm -hmm. See, down tilt still very, very effective. If you play very patient, work with the banana, and as DSS does, go for just the guarantees, he's definitely going to come out to a victory. Yeah, and he's really just showing that right now. Getting the bread and butters, yeah. trying to stay on the rice, not really letting Yoshi do his Yoshi things. Yeah. But at the same time, Rice is trying to bring this back. Ooh, nice Nair. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. He's keeping up in damage, going for some trades, because that seems to be the best option right now. Oh, tried to go for the barrel explosion, but at least get some damage. Fair, and the forward is going to take it, though. Good stuff, DSS. Also, shout outs to Rayquaza from uh, the Midwest. An amazing Rosalina player. It was Ooh, an honor to commentate nice a lot of your spike. matches at Big House 5. But, uh, Dark Rice does a good job of keeping up in this game. That's that stage bike was definitely needed. Yeah, um, off a of dare too. Yeah, that was a really nice option coming from Rice right there. Ledge guarding. Nah. Okay. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't actually go for the up smash there. Which was just the easy no. He was just really trying there. to get the read out of the egg. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot, actually, a lot of Yoshi's in it. Oh, that. that shield pressure is so real, and the up tilt to up air. Lots egg, of free ooh, damage. Barely missing that pair. Once Yoshi really gets control, once he gets going, he has so many great follow-ups, solid damage. And uh, those follow-ups lead to kills. It is disgusting. Yep. Yoshi? <laughs> a lot of people complain about Yoshi, but when you actually play Yoshi, you will see that it is not easy what they're doing. Yeah. Because he, he's really floaty for, like, no reason. His movement, his jump is weird. Double jump, oh. that Forest Smash is going to take. It gets up from my second game one. Uh, if I'm Super not mistaken, this is best of five, right? Yes. Okay. This is best of five. Cool. Cool. Yeah, no, Yoshi, Yoshi's not bad. He's good. He has combos for out of egg. Yeah. So I was actually talking to Violet a lot on Monday. So we all, we all went to Smash Fest. We watched the football game. But we were at a Smash Fest, so we were playing, and he was just kind of telling me about, like, what Yoshi has and the, really, like, what he can do. He was like, yeah, egg is, like, almost the best projectile because oh, yeah. he can go ahead and combo out of it. Yeah, you get a lot of follow-ups off of egg. Yep. And, and then just really should be at the same time because one, you could either go what Rice did, uh, try to read when they get out of it, or just go for the free damage of the up smash. It's really easy to get uh, a lot of follow ups because in 50 50 situations, instead of going for something uh, like a dedicated attack, you can just go for egg. And if it hits, you get a follow up. Yep. Yeah, and that is one thing about Yoshi. He, he, he it doesn't have to approach. You, you can just sit back and use eggs. It's going to be pretty tough for him to deal with still this banana play. Already we're seeing that DSS is taking a strong lead, just like in that last game. I think it really just comes down to him keeping that lead, playing consistently throughout the entire match. Once you give Rice a little bit of space to get going, it can be a lot to deal with. Yeah, no, in the first game, pretty much when Rice started taking it over, he didn't allow the banana to There's be in play too often. Yeah. So he was actually able to just go around, float around, and hit him. And he was able to get his bread and butters, well, quote unquote bread and butters with Yoshi on the yeah. DSS. But just making the right, right adjustment. Oh, down, threw the banana down into down smash, looking like Brawl right now. <laughs> Nanners, are you watching? <laughs> he's out there somewhere. He's, he's lurking, he's in the cage somewhere. Rice almost ends up getting that fourth smash. He is down by quite a bit right now, and it's really hard for Rice to find the landing. Even when he throws out an attack, did he just so quick? And he has such good aerials that he just finds an opportunity. Yeah, DSS is just like being really evasive. He's getting the right rolls. Oh, Ooh. and he up he's into the side of the stage. 60% is not a lot for Yoshi to come back from. And Rice has the banana in hand, trying to keep it away from DSS. DSS getting the banana back. Oh, oh my goodness, really nice air dodge. Rice is putting on the pressure right here at the ledge. DSS with this clean forward smash. Has him at a great percent. <laughs> Rice takes the banana, the banana and throws it right away, yeah. Well, your banana's no good here, sir. He gets a solid grab. Okay, up throw, guaranteed up air. Up air. Yep. 
Not quite going to kill yet. That's Same a big patch. problem in this matchup as well, though, is that uh, it's a lot easier to get the up air on Yoshi. Yeah. Okay, the percent is really high. Ooh, try to that, catch air, that dodge. air dodge. Forward smash is going to take it, evening up the set. 1-1. One, one. Even though he ended up SDing, DSS took it away. He saw that in that first game, he lost because he let Rice get an opportunity to put on pressure. Yep. In that second game, he knew he's like, all I have to do is not give Rice an opportunity, and I can find the win. So it is 1-1 one, one right now. We are doing best of five. Uh, Rice is going to get his counter pick, though. Wonder where he's going to pick for this stage. I'm at, I was going to say, I'm actually interested if he's oh. going to stay Yoshi, but he's going oh, Doc. And oh, actually man. talking to Rice personally, he really likes this matchup. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. in the Dr. Mario. Uh, it's his counter to yep. Diddy. So, so all, all you guys out there, you better know, Doc is a great counter. <laughs> Doc is decent. I mean, there are a lot of things that Doc can't deal with that Diddy has. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, the Doc has I play this matchup a lot as well. But okay. uh, and uh, you know, it's actually really not that bad. Back air could really shut down Diddy Kong. Um, you still have a lot of combo potential on Diddy. You can shut down his side B very easily, and his recovery is very easy to deal with. But getting grabbed is still ass, basically. Yeah, I mean, cape, cape and banana. I mean, cape and the pill are really gonna help out against the banana. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, but no, I, I, myself. Reds. What's up? Okay. But yeah, no. Myself, just like you, DC, I've actually. St oh! See, that is a huge yeah. strength for yep. Dr. Mario. It gives him so so much time to set up another cape or to try and punish this. I think he was trying to double jump that. Oh, Ooh. caught by the backside of down smash. Definitely a kill right there. DSS is still up. What is Rice going to get out of this right now? Ooh, Uppy! Give him that prostate punish. exam. Yep. What's good? Comes out in three frames. Extremely strong kill move. And uh, it is really great for punishing Diddy Kong, who yeah. has uh, such and it, and it gets you out of combos like that. Yeah. Which is really nice. It's an escape tool. It's a kill move. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And he didn't even B-reverse it then. He did a raw oh, yeah. up B, and it still killed. But I remember actually talking to Rice. When you when you B-reverse it, it's, it's stronger. It's a little bit stronger, yeah. yeah. As Dr. Mario so. still gets the job done. Ooh. He saw that side B was coming. Barely missing that forward smash. Rice so comfortable in this matchup. Has a pretty solid lead. He's tacking on a lot of damage. As a top player, I know he does a ton Ooh, of damage. Nice tornado. And he has an easy time. Oh! Ooh, jab, jab into a up B! B. Oh the my doctor God. is in the house! Oh my God! Adios mio! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oi. Oi. Oh. Oi. Oh. I'm stealing that one, dude. I I am, I'm stealing this shit. Oh out man, of I was like, jab though? Jab to up B. Jab to up B. Jab to up B. My goodness. Man, he's acting like DSS is that 40 and he's going in for that routine checkup. Hold up. Does <laughs> does Dr. Mario have a true input sure you can that I just don't know about? Oh my goodness. <laughs> he just gave him the sure you. Now, this matchup, a lot harder. Uh, now, I said that Mario doesn't have as hard of a time. Um, Doc has an even harder time. I mean, even has a, Mario has a difficult time. <coughs> it's pretty bad for Doc. Ooh, nice fair. Well, I think the only thing, well, one of the things that Doc has that Mario doesn't have is the pill. So his projectile can just go ahead and go through. So DSS can't just absorb it with his down B. That's true. So that's one, one thing. But other than that, I think they both have really giveable recoveries. It's Doc's being even more giveable. Woo! Uh, Doc is just a little bit too slow, and it's yeah. really hard for him to find follow-ups because Ness is going to nair out of everything. Yeah. Also, he has the falling up air. He has so much crazy amounts of stuff to break out. And uh, Ooh! reverse up B again. Reverse up B out of the air dodge. Getting As out I of the way of that down. All of this stuff about how this is oh, a bad Oh, no. He, he went too deep. Yep. I, I saw Rice's face. He's smiling. He's like, yep, I know what I did. Did they just shout DSS? <laughs> Ooh, up B. Taking that stock. Evening it up. See, this is the thing that people really forget about or... I guess aren't conscious of when they talk about Doc as a character is they don't realize that up B is an extremely good tool, not only for kills, uh, but to break out of a lot of crucial situations. Yeah. Well, he has the up B to get out of, but he also has that Nair, yeah. which is really good. So he has two options to really get out of any type of combos, and his back airs are ridiculous. Really good spacing tool. Uh, in the usual, you can go ahead and just use him. 
There's a tiny bit of lag landing onto the ground with back air. I mean, it's not as good as Mario's, is the problem. Yeah. But uh, DSS trying to take a lead here. He's doing a decent job. Uh, it's just really hard for Dr. Mario to get in Ooh. on Ness if Ness keeps throwing out up airs and uh, nares. Oh my goodness. Rice. There's the rough. back air. Tornado. Up B. He's making it back. The Magna Hand. Smash 4. It was good. Up B! Oh. Oh, not Reverse quite going to take again, it. But he did not actually get the sweet spot there. No. That back air. Oh, no. He actually PK helped Thunder him. Helped assisted him. him. Ooh, Got went him right into the PK2. Another one. Ooh. My goodness. Had to make another one. <laughs> and another, another one. Oh, no. You don't, you don't go into that. Please. Hit him back to back, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, but good stuff in DSS right there. Good stuff. Yeah, he definitely did a great job. I Well, Rice played pretty well with Doc. Are oh, you going to Doc it up? All right, DSS is thinking about going to someone. No, no, he's not going to Doc. He's going to go back to Ness. To yeah, he, he does like to do that. I, oh, Rice is going to stay Doc. All right. Yeah. I mean, from Rice's perspective, he got hit by, uh, I mean, he got hit by two uh, PK Thunder 2s. Yeah. Well, Avoiding he, those two yeah. situations. He was playing phenomenally. He just got hit by the PK 2. Avoiding those two situations means, hey, I still had a great chance. But it can still be really, really difficult to deal with. Now with platforms, I honestly think that platforms are terrible for Dr. Mario. Uh, a lot of characters have more advantages on platforms. Doc doesn't have that many options off the platforms or when a character lands on them. Yeah, I really do think that this is going to help out Ness a lot more, or DSS. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get him with that PK2. And that's yeah. the thing. He can go ahead and jump in between the platforms using PK2. Kind of just weave it around. Trying to make it really difficult for Rice to land, but... Only about 20-ish percent separating them, so... But we are on Battlefield, so... No one's going to die really early. As I say that, he almost dies. <laughs> uh, up air still really strong. Good I mean, that, for damage, that, and I mean, you don't have to use it as a kill tool. You have many others as an SU. That low boy got a big noggin, so. At a stage this big as well, it's going to be a little bit harder for Doc to get kills. It's going to be a little bit easier for uh, DSS to just focus on racking up damage and going for the back throw. Are we going to see it right here, right? Now? See, there's commentator's curse, but there's no commentator's promise. <laughs> I can't be like, hey, do a back throw, and he's going to do it. Right. Gets the reverse up B, up saves his jump. B. Gets right back in there. Race of him from Rice right there. That was a really interesting option. There's a down B out of shield. Really, really good knockback, even at low percent. Well, he just ran down there and did it. Yeah. <laughs> There's back, the back throw? throw, but it's not enough. Uh, not quite. He was on the other side of the stage. Doc's still pretty darn heavy. No. Looking for a roll. DSS with this imperfect spacing right now. Yeah, he's really looking for an up air like that, or he was fishing for the back air right there. But yeah, super clean. Good stuff getting up that stock, evening it up. Only down to about 46%. Uh, that, that's probably just one down throw into like a couple fair combos. So. DSS needs to find some damage here, but so far in the neutral, Bryce has actually been finding opportunities a lot more, just reacting to where DSS puts himself out. And uh, it's been using either back airs or up Bs, really. I think that he uh, likes these platforms because if he up Bs, he up Bs directly onto a platform. Yeah, so you just go ahead and just have no lag with it. Right. So DSS has very, an opportunity very to punish. Guaranteed follow-ups right here, though. Okay. So much pressure from Rice right there. Yeah, DSS and I think knowing. that was the safest option for DSS. It was really just hitting shield. Yeah. See, yeah, now no. no longer Rice isn't falling into that. Yeah, game. Rice is left. Fair is going to take it. Hitting it with that volleyball that spike. That is 3 2 in favor of Rice right now. This man moves on to grand final.